Hi, fifth grade. Um, it's kind of sad to know that we won't be going back to school for the remainder of the school year. But I wanted to say first off that I hope that everyone is feeling well and staying safe. Um, I also wanted to say I've been really, really loving and appreciating seeing all the different artworks that people have been creating. I love seeing that you're still being an artist even though you're away from school and being creative and taking time to make art. Art's great right now because it allows you to kind of de-stress and still gives you an outlet to be creative and kind of bring some happiness. Um, I've really appreciated the students who've been using Seesaw and have been um, writing nice comments on each other's artwork. I think that's a great way to support each other as an artist. So what this video is going to entail is pretty much me talking about how the rest of April will go. I will be, of course, creating new videos pretty much every other day or daily, kind of giving inspiration or showing different artists, but it's these kind of project videos that kind of talk about what you need to be doing. And then once we go into May, I'll be creating a new project video as well. So. Um, now that we're moving on to the end of April, I've created a new packet. So you can find this packet on, to, on my website. There's a little section on there that says um, copy the packet. So if you need to have a copy of the packet, maybe you're printing it out because it's easier for you to work with, you can go there. I am also sharing it with everyone via Google, so you can go that way. Or you're welcome to be watching these videos and it can explain the different things that you can do. Now keep in mind, the way we're doing the art projects is essentially you're able to choose what you need to do. So some of you may have done certain projects already at the beginning of this remote learning. Some of you may have not done certain ones. So it's kind of up to you to go through and choose what you haven't done yet. So the first part of remote learning had the different projects that you can choose from. And if you haven't done those yet, you're still welcome to choose from there. Um, so they talked about the project where you use the personal information and you have, you know, your birth month and your birthday and your favorite color and the color shirt you're wearing. And you use all the information to create an image and you draw that image. So some people have already done that one. If you haven't, that's an option to choose. Um, and I have my example on my website. The second one was creating a digital self-portrait. Um, you can use ABCA. Some people are having problems with ABCA, so you're welcome to use a different digital website that creates art as long as you can download it or send me a picture. I do have one um, that some other students have been using, so if you need a different website because ABCA is giving you problems, feel free to email me and I can send it out to you. I think the reason ABC is having those issues is because there's so many kids on it right now that it's kind of getting overloaded. Um, then I also talked about one of the old options was the sketchbook option where you look at a pair of scissors and you draw it. You don't trace. Then you create a value scale which has like five boxes, white, light gray, medium gray, dark gray, black, and you shade all of those with pencil. And then you have the, um, I'm thinking, the um, something with wheels. So you look at something, you draw something with wheels. So those are previous options that you've had. And after this video, I'll kind of, I'll show images of all those things. You also had the option, which was last week, which was be an artist, be creative, where you're able to draw or create artwork using any art material and any subject matter. So I had a lot of people who are culinary artists who are baking and sending me things or people who are Lego sculptors and building things that way. So that one was really, really open-ended. So if you haven't done that one yet, that's still a possibility. The two new additional ones that I'm adding on for the remainder of April, the first one is the still life. So you're going to gather like three to five objects, place it in front of you, and draw what you see. You're looking for things like proportions, overlapping. So here's one. I took some of my son's toys, set them up in front of me, and drew what I saw. Um, if you have any sort of coloring materials like crayons or colored pencils or markers or oil pastels, you're welcome to use that. The second thing um, that's being added on for this month is to draw a shoe. So you're going to have to look at a shoe and really, really focus, paying attention to things like 
laces and stitches and the heel if there's a heel or the sole so here's my son's shoe and I did the same thing you notice I have velcro on there so I did texture um, if you have coloring materials you can color that as well and then of course we have the daily drawings which are on the Google share if you go to my website now initially I said everyone needs to do a daily drawing each week I think I'm going to change that right now and if you do a daily drawing that will count so if you go through the images and you find the daily drawing and if you would rather draw that this week instead of the still life or the shoe I'm going to count that so you have a lot to choose from you are welcome to choose whatever ones you want to do each week. So you'll have one this week and then one next week and that will get you through April and then I will be adding new projects. So draw a shoe, draw a still life, there's the be an artist, use any material, there is the sketchbook option which has the value scale, something with wheels and scissors, there is the self portrait using a digital art, and then there is the personal information art as well as the daily drawing. So you have so much to choose from. Once again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me. Um, and I hope everyone has a great week. And I miss you all. And keep making that art. Bye.